One of this generation's most hyped games has come. Horizon Zero Dawn, a PlayStation 4 exclusive helmed by Guerrilla Games of Killzone fame, has been eagerly anticipated by gamers. And while I was initially excited for this game, I was honestly unprepared for what Guerrilla had in store for me. After spending close to 50 hours playing this game, exploring its huge world, and ultimately completing the game, I have some interesting thoughts on my experience. This is the Beastly Gamer review of Horizon Zero Dawn on PlayStation 4. As always, this review will cover story, gameplay, graphics, and sound. Story. Horizon takes place in a post-apocalyptic future where dangerous robots roam the Earth that have seemingly replaced most indigenous life. The structures of the old world have fallen to ruin, and the people seem to have regressed to a prehistoric state of being. Seemingly unaware of technologies of old, the world is now divided into tribes who worship machines and feel that programs are the voices of lost gods. In Horizon Zero Dawn, you play as an orphan named Aloy, a girl who has been branded an outcast in her village. For some reason, other villagers shun her, and they've acted this way since she was born. Aloy is being raised by a father figure named Rost, who upon agreeing to rear her has also been marked as an outcast in the village. When you start the game, you are actually playing as Aloy as a child, which gives more depth and layers to the experience of feeling alone and wondering why people treat Aloy so poorly. The children of the village are even cruel to Aloy and torment her whenever adults are not around. Finally fed up with the frustration of not knowing who she is or why people treat her so badly, Aloy asks Ross what she can do to remove her outcast status and find out who she is. Ross tells her about The Proving, a course held every generation in which young warriors navigate a deadly obstacle course, slay dangerous robots, traverse mountainous landscapes, and race to the finish line. Only the strongest and swiftest warriors can win The Proving. And the prize? You become a noble of the village. And only then would Aloy be able to find out the truth of her origins. Unfortunately, during the proving, the village is attacked by masked men, who murder Aloy's people mercilessly and then set their targets on her. A huge battle ensues with many casualties, which leaves Aloy with more questions to her mysterious origins. I love the story, and I won't spoil anything other than the premise. It was expansive, thoughtful, and it had many twists and turns. And like another great RPG, The Witcher 3, Horizon has tons of side quests and errands to do, keeping you engaged and entertained for many hours. I really feel that I had a little choice in whether I love this game. Well, with the fact that Guerrilla took some seemingly important elements from one of my favorite anime. And I'm not sure if they did, but it sure seemed like it. Naruto, a very popular Japanese anime, is extremely similar to the story of Horizon. You see, in Naruto, it's the story of an orphan boy who is born as an outcast, has no idea why he's an outcast, is treated poorly by his village, and becomes a warrior and tries to win the Chunin exams, which are essentially the same thing as the proving in Horizon. There's a ton to love in Horizon's story and I enjoyed every minute. Gameplay Killzone never did anything really risky in the gameplay department in my opinion. It was always slow paced and didn't really introduce anything groundbreaking to me. That's not anywhere near the case with Horizon. There are so many ways that you can play this game. If you prefer stealth, then you can play stealthily. If you like balls to the wall action, then you can play that way too. Your primary weapon is your spear, which is used as your only melee weapon in the entire game. Sneak up on unaware human or robotic enemies and you'll be able to decimate them with this powerful spear. The spear has a strong attack as well as a light attack, so mixing up the two can create devastating acrobatic combos. Or use the spear to override enemies. This ability rewrites the programming of robots, putting them under your command. Override has so many uses, as you can create cover by making robots attack their own while you escape, or simply by having another ally in the battle. And this skill is crucial when traveling long distances, as controlling mountable robots will save you lots of time. Your ranged weapon is the bow, and in this game there are multiple bows Aloy will attain during her quests. Different arrows crafted by you on the fly carry different effects and can damage enemies in many different ways. Say you're facing an enemy that's vulnerable to fire. Well, quickly craft fire arrows from the resources you find in the world and lay the smack down on the enemy. Some enemies will have powerful weapons that can easily kill you. Well, craft arrows that can cause a shockwave after impact 
quickly breaking weapons and armor off enemies, making them unable to attack you. Or you can craft strong piercing arrows and target a particular part of an enemy and watch as they lose the ability to use that body part and become crippled. The bow feels amazing and is easily one of my favorite parts of the game, but there's a ton of other options to dispatch metal monstrosities. If you're facing an enemy that moves fast or is hard to defeat with your bow, use the rope caster. It's an amazing weapon that quickly shoots an anchor into the enemy's armor and anchors it to the spot where you're shooting from. This weapon gave me such a feeling of badassery as I stopped giant monsters from being able to even turn around as I targeted and destroyed vulnerable areas of their bodies. The trip caster allows you to shoot a wire laced with explosives, fire, or electricity between two points. Once set, you can lure enemies through the area and watch them be blown to bits. While these weapons are awesome and feel amazing to use, they are still a small part of Aloy's full arsenal. Enemies are intelligently aware of their surroundings. They notice fast movement, and if they do, a question mark appears above their heads. At this time, you have to decide if hiding in tall grass or fighting is in your best interest, because being spotted can cause robots or humans to quickly call for reinforcements. I think the gameplay in Horizon is one of its brightest points, and while I'm done playing it, I still have days where all I want to do is explore Horizon and get into epic battles with mechanical beasts. Graphics Horizon Zero Dawn joins the few greats in recent memory. Uncharted 4 comes to mind, and while it has a similar style and look to The Witcher 3, I think Horizon actually looks better than both of these games. The world is richly detailed, with life and roaming robots. Never does the game feel empty with sprawling villages and active communities. The character models of the main characters are honestly some of the most amazing I've ever seen. During conversations, you will notice that Aloy actually embodies the tone of the conversation. If she's wondering about something, she looks like she's wondering about it. If she's angry, she looks angry. And if she's emotionally shattered, it is conveyed flawlessly on the character's face. I was blown away at these segments, and feel like during these portions of the game, the artist at Gorilla had actually breathed the breath of life into these characters. Now with that being said, the side quest characters and Eren characters lack the same polish. These characters do look amazing, with fine detail and highly refined animations overall, but there are times where these characters lag behind the words they are actually saying. Almost like there's an issue with frame rate or the lips are just slightly out of sync with the words they're saying. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone, but there are obstacles. And at times, it looks like the facial animators put a lot more effort into some characters and lesson to others. The machines in this game are epic and look eerie when you sit back and observe their routines. Lumbering through the forest, mining for whatever minerals are in the ground, and looking for live bait to decimate. The robots have mimicked the biological animals and extinct creatures whose images they've been created in and it's a sight to behold. These hulking abominations are virtually man-slaying tanks and when you're spotted the sight of them can be truly terrifying because they are machines and they will not stop. Ever until you are dead. Sound. Horizon soundtrack suits the world Gorilla has created perfectly. The soundtrack is retro and modern. It feels like it makes sense when you think about where this game is taking place. A dystopian future where technology has taken over, yet life on the planet has virtually gone back to being caveman. The pulsing music that plays when you're battling hulking beasts is awesome, and the soundtrack slows down when you're stalking prey. I love how the music is apparently adaptive to the situation you're in. The voice acting is incredible as well. Aloy, along with myriad other characters, are handled with care. You can tell that the voice actors didn't phone in these recordings, and it greatly benefits the experience overall. Also, the sounds of the robotic beasts are amazing, like an animal robot. If an animal was a robot, have you ever heard the sound of a pissed off robot? <laughs> Play this game and you will. Final Thoughts Gorilla has been trying to find their niche for a long time. The Killzone series was always well received but never truly rose above its competition. The PS4 launch title, Killzone Shadowfall, left much to be desired with slow gameplay, a story that was a snooze fest, and a main character I never really connected with. Well, with Horizon Zero Dawn, Gorilla has found their niche, and they have nailed so many aspects of this game. Be it the beautiful open world, incredibly deep lore and core story, incredible gameplay mechanics, or one of my favorite new video game characters, Aloy, a likable and strong female who rises above every obstacle to become a force of change in a world where mankind has little hope. If you have a PS4, this game is a must-have 
Seriously. My six year old is feverishly playing it right now and a father couldn't be more proud. This game can be marathoned in 15 to 20 hours or you can allow yourself to be engulfed in the experience as I did. And I promise every minute is worth it. Guerrilla Games has never hit such a high point. And now that they left the sign that this game is far from over, I seriously can't wait to see what comes next for Aloy in this amazing new PlayStation exclusive franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. It took me a while to play through this game. It's been kind of difficult back and forth from work every day, trying to get my new house taken care of, family, new baby. But Horizon, I made some time for it. I played it and I, I really genuinely enjoyed this game. It was a fantastic game. I'm playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild now. And I gotta say, I, I think I'm loving that at least as much. It's a very fun game. You guys, if you've played Horizon Zero Dawn, please sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about the game. If it's something you've been thinking about and this review has helped you solidify a decision, let me know how you feel in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you're a content creator and you'd like to share your thoughts on gaming, upload them and share them at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Welcome.